हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर वन ऑफ एन क्लास फाइव ई वी एस सब्जेक्ट द चैप्टर नेम इज सुपर सैंसिस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी सुपर सैंस ऑफ स्मेल एंड सुपर सैंस ऑफ साइट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर लेट वी नो अबाउट सेंस ऑर्गन्स वॉट आर दिस सेंस ऑर्गन्स एंड हाउ मेनी सेंस ऑर्गन्स टू वी हेल्प so sense organs are the organs which help us to know and understand the world around us we have basically five sense organs ears tongue eyes nose and skin we use our ears to hear tongue to taste eyes to see nose to smell and skin to touch or feel now has this ever happened to you that you were eating in the playground and an eagle flew down and took away your roti or as you walk softly past a sleeping dog so that his sleep might not get disturbed but its ear shot up at once or you drop something's feet on the ground and within minutes many ants collected around it yes my this might be happen to you have you wondered that why this is happening because animals also have different senses they also can see hear taste smell and feel like us some animals can see their prey from far away some can hear even the faintest sound faint as that means the sound which is not loud however the animals can hear that sound some animals can find their friends by their smell the animal world is full of example of this amazing senses okay now we will see super sense of smell in ants an ant was going along on the ground those this is ant and this is going in this direction it saw a group of ants coming from the other side this group of ants coming from this side the first ant quickly come back to its hole the ant was guarding the hole standing here recognize this ant and let it in now have you ever thought that how did the ant know that the other ants were not from its group how this ant recognized that this group is not same as its group and how did the guard ant recognize this ant this ants recognize each other with the help of their smell now try this activity and find out this answer of these questions for that drop some sugar jaggery or anything sweet on the ground and wait until the ants come there and then first question is here that how long did it take for the ants to come so after this activity you will find that it take around 15 to 20 minutes to come to an ant over there the next question is did one ant come first or a group of ants came together so first the one ant will come over there and then after a group of ants will follow that one ant third question is that what did the ants do with the food so the ants will carry that food to their hall the next question is that where do they grow from there so they went to their ant hall from there the last question is that do they move in a line so yes ants always move in the line now carefully without harming the ants block their path for a while with a pencil and observe how do the ants move 
so ants will climb up on the pencil and they will still move in a line why this is happening so many years ago a scientist did many exper- experiments like this he found that as the ants move they leave a smell on the ground the other ants follow the smell to find the way so now can you guess why the ants behave like that when you block their path yes because the ants as the ants move they leave the smell on the ground and other ants will follow that smell to find their path like this ants some male insect can recognize their female by their smell one example is given here it's about silkworm so silkworm can find its female worm from many kilometers away by her smells the another example is of mosquitoes have you ever been troubled by mosquitoes just think how do they know where you are so mosquitoes can find you by the smell of your body they also find you by the smell of sole of your feet and the heat of your body so by heat of your body and the smell of your feet bottom they can find that where you are the another example of sense of smell is given here for dog have you ever seen a dog sniffing here and there what do you think it is trying to smell so dog marks out their own area on the road they can make it, make out if another dog has come into their area by the smell of its urine or potty that's why you usually see that dog doing toilet here and there they are doing this because to mark their areas now have you know that we are using the smelling sense of dog so that you have to write here in what ways do human beings make use of this special sense of smell of dogs so we are using this special sense of smell of dogs to catch thieves to search stolen things and to find the bombs the next question is when do you find your sense of smell helpful to you list out some examples like to know by its smell that the food has gone bad or that something is burning so you can identify the smell of flowers perfume tasty foods incense sticks you can know that whether there is any leakage of gas or not so you can use your sense of smell in this examples the next question is name the animals that you would be able to recognize only by their smells without seeing them so this type of animals are like cow dog cat fish and you can write the other examples as well the next one table is here write the names of five things whose smells you like and five things whose smell you do not like so in first column i like the smell of you can write by it your own self like perfume flowers your favorite food incense stick shampoo or soap then in the another column i don't like the smell of like garbage cow dung dead fish urine potty or another examples like rotten food foul smell etc now writing after writing this you can compare your answer with your friend's answer are both of your answers are similar or not now discuss with your friends do the clothes of any of your family members smells 
and whose clothes are smelling or did you ever come across any smell in a crowded place such as fair bus or train so why this happening so for that one story is given here today rajni had to go out for some important work she had to leave her 6 month old son deepak with her sister sushila sushila also has a baby of c same age it was funny that both the babies did potty at the same time she happily clean her daughter but when she was cleaning her sister's son deepak she covered her nose with her dupatta now think that sushila covered her nose when she clean deepak's nappy but not when she clean her daughter why do you think she did this because when we feel something is dirty we find it smell bad while cleaning deepak's nappy sushila find that it is dirty that's why she find it smell bad and while cleaning her daughter's nappy she didn't find it's dirty that's why she didn't feel it's bad smell then how do you feel when you walk here near a heap of garbage think of the children who spend the whole day picking things from such garbage what do you think they don't feel bad smell no why because they used to this kind of smell that's why sushila didn't feel her daughter's potty as the bad smell because she used to it the next question is is a smell good or bad for everyone in the same way or does it depends on how each one feels about it so yes it is depend on how each one feels about it if someone feel it is dirty then that smell is bad for them but most of the bad smell are bad for everyone so till now we had seen the super sense of smell in different animals like ants dogs and insects like mosquitoes and silkworm now we will see super sense of sight before that let we know about the position of eyes on head of some of the birds for that question is given here write the name of the bird which has eyes in front of its head like us so your answer will be an owl owl has the eyes in front of its head like us the next question is write the names of some birds which have eyes on either side of its head and what is the size of their eyes as compared to the size of their head so most of the birds like pigeons crows sparrows have the eyes on the either side of their head and the size of their eyes are very small as compared to their head so here given that most of the birds have their eyes on the either side of the head and their eyes can focus on two different things at a time when they look straight ahead both their eyes focus on the same object and when birds focuses both eyes on an object it can estimate the distance and when its eyes focus on two different things it increases its range of vision you usually must have seen birds moving their neck very often do you know why in most of the birds eyes are fixed and cannot move so birds have to turn their head to see around now try this activity looking with one or both eyes close your right eye or cover it with your hand now tell your friend to stand to your right at some distance and ask him to do some actions like to wave hand 
or to shake head then after try this question could you see your friend's actions without moving your neck so no you could not see your friend's action with one eye without moving your neck the next question is now try to look at your friend's action with both your eyes open but without moving your neck this same yes you can see your friend's action with both your eyes open and without moving your neck next question is what was the difference on looking with one or both eyes so looking with both eyes you can see the wider area as compared to the looking with one eye now toss a small ball or a coin and try to catch it try this with both your eyes open then close one eye and try to catch it when was when was it easier to catch so obviously it is easier when your both eyes are open as compared to when your one eye is open imagine how it would be to have your eyes in place of your ears like in this picture it is shown what would you able to do then which you can't do now so when your eyes are at your ears place you could see your left and right side without moving your neck so some birds like kites eagles vultures can see four times as far as we can see these birds can see things from a distance of 8 meters what we can see from a distance of 2 meters now can you guess from what distance can an eagle in the sky can see a roti on the ground so this eagle can see from a distance of 1 and 1/2 km to 2 km now it's about sight what about the colors do animals can see the colors so animals cannot see as many as color as we can see see how things in this picture will be seen by some animals so first here human being is there we can see all the colors then the birds they can see the colors like us the third is the animals like dog they can see only few colors then the animals like red who awake and be night time they can see only black and white colors so it is believed that animals that are awake in the day time can see some colors and those animals that are awake at the night time can see things only in black and white colors so till now we had seen super sense of smell in some animals like ant mosquitoes silkworm and dogs and super sense of sight in some animals like rat dog and some birds from starting we had seen the sense of eagle then after the smelling sense of and hearing uh, sense of dogs then after smelling sense of ants mosquitoes silkworm and dogs and then how the an individual can feel about the same smell then after the sense of sight in birds the position of eyes on the head of the birds and the sense of birds to see the different objects and colors further we will see in the next video thank you